Welcome to your immersive VR training experience on HVAC ductwork. Here, you'll get a hands-on feel for the essential materials and systems that keep air flowing efficiently in buildings. This isn't just another lecture. You'll be exploring, interacting, and developing real-world skills that will set you up for success in the HVAC industry. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about the building blocks of ductwork, the materials. The type of duct used in an HVAC system affects airflow, efficiency, and durability. Take metal ductwork, for example. It's strong, fire-resistant, and built to last. You'll find it in two main shapes, round, which optimizes airflow, and rectangular, which fits neatly into tight spaces. Made from galvanized steel or aluminum, metal ducts are a solid choice, but must be properly sealed to prevent leaks. Now, let's check out flex duct. This lightweight option is made from a wire coil wrapped in a plastic liner and insulation. It's incredibly easy to install and perfect for maneuvering through tight spaces. But be careful, too many bends or improper installation can restrict airflow and reduce efficiency. Then there's duckboard. This rigid fiberglass material comes with a protective inner coating to prevent particle release. It's cost-effective, provides built-in insulation, and even helps reduce noise. However, it's not as tough as metal and can be more susceptible to damage. With a solid understanding of duct materials, let's explore the different system layouts that shape airflow efficiency. First up, the radial system. Often called the spider system, this design features a central supply plenum with multiple branch ducts extending outward. It's compact and efficient, making it a popular choice for smaller residential setups. Next, we have the extended plenum system, also known as the trunk and branch system. A main trunk duct runs the length of the building, with smaller branch ducts extending to supply outlets. This setup ensures balanced airflow throughout the space. Then there's the reducing trunk system. It's similar to the extended plenum design, but the trunk duct gradually decreases in size as branches are added. This design helps maintain consistent air pressure and optimizes material use. Lastly, let's take a look at the perimeter loop system. As the name suggests, this system features a continuous duct running along the perimeter of a building. It ensures even temperature distribution, making it a go-to choice for larger residential and commercial spaces. Now that you've explored the key materials and system layouts, you're one step closer to mastering HVAC ductwork. In this VR experience, you've had the chance to see, interact with, and truly understand how these components work together in real-world applications. This hands-on learning approach is what makes VR such a powerful tool. It's practice without pressure, so you can build confidence and skills that translate directly to the job site. Until next time, keep exploring, keep practicing, and get ready to apply what you've learned in the field.